Hi guys, uh, this is Jonathan Lambert with Maths and Stats, uh, and this video was another video in our series of videos dealing with generating functions uh, that are associated with sequences. And in particular, what we're going to have a look at is the effect of substitution, uh, the changing of the the x determinant indeterminant within the power series. So substituting uh, into the power series and to see the effect that that has on on the sequence as well as the power series, and also as well as the generating function associated with the power series. Uh, let's just recap here. Let's just recap. Uh, so recap a power series, let's say. So we have our power series. Uh, in general, looks something like this. It's a0 times x to the 0 plus a1 times x to the 1 plus a2 times x to the 2 plus a3 times x to the 3, and so on. It's an infinite power series. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to, we're going to be using these power series uh, to represent or to encode within these power series a particular, a particular sequence. So for example, so for example, let's consider, let's consider the sequence, the sequence that looks something like this, one followed by a one, followed by a one, followed by a one. Okay, so this is our sequence, and what we want to do is we're going to encode this sequence into this particular power series, and it's straightforward to do. What we do is we take the first term in the sequence, and that becomes the first coefficient, that becomes the first a0. We take the second term, that becomes the second coefficient, the third term becomes the third coefficient, and the fourth term becomes uh, the fourth coefficient uh, in this particular power series. So this particular sequence represented as a power series, its power series, its power series uh, looks something like this. It's going to be, well, once times x, x to the 0. The a0 is a 1. So once times x to the 0 is the same as once times 1 gives us a 1. Plus once times x to the 1 is just x. Plus once to 1 times x to the 2, the next one here, times x to the 2 gives us an x squared. Plus once times x to the 3 gives us x to the 3 plus dot, dot, dot. Okay? And what we can do is we had a technique that allowed us to sum up this particular power series, this infinite series of, of power functions allowed us to sum it up. And what we noticed was that the, that the, the let's say that, the, that the, the, the function associated with this, the summation of this was simply equal to one over one minus minus X. Okay? So this is a very simple sequence. It's a sequence uh, of just constant, of constant uh, terms. It's represented in this simple power series and its summation when we sum this up. And you can see that in a previous video is simply equal to one over one minus X. Okay? Now the question that we might ask ourselves is, because what this video is all about today is all about substitutions. Okay? So it's all about substitutions into these particular power series. So let's say for argument's sake, we let, okay, let's say we let X equal minus x, okay, let's say for argument's sake. So let's say we let we let x, <coughs> excuse me, let's say we let x equals, uh, let's say, we, no, let's say we let x equal x squared, okay, for, for argument's sake, and let's see what happens, yeah. So let's just take this power series. We know this power series is associated with this particular sequence here, and we know it's generating function also. So let's take this power series and let's substitute in everywhere we see an x, let's put in x squared. So what this actually ends up as, so therefore what we're going to have is it's going to be 1 plus the x becomes x squared. So this becomes x squared plus the next x becomes x squared. So it's x squared to be squared, which is going to be x to the power of 4, plus the next one is x cubed. So it's x squared to be cubed, which is going to be x to the power of 6, plus dot, dot, dot. And that's going to be equal to the generating function. Now that's generated, it's going to be 1 over. 1 minus the x is substituted for x squared, so its substitution is 1 minus x squared here. So let's have a look at this particular power series, and you can see that this power series, okay, all the coefficients, okay, we've got each coefficient is, is associated with one of these particular terms here, but the things that are missing from this power series, the 1 represents the first term, Oh, we've no x to the 1 in here. It's missing. But we do have an x to the 2. We do have an x to the 4. We don't have an x to the 3. So actually, this particular, this 